Tonight, we come together for a very special purpose to honor the tenacity and spirit of Walter P. Chrysler. And what a special privilege I have to recognize Virgil Exner this evening. As Chrysler's Vice President of Styling in the mid-50s, Exner's approach to design was visionary. He worked from a pure design philosophy where he chose to feature the functional elements of the car, like the wheels and the grille, instead of disguising them. Known as the father of the forward look, he ushered in a new generation of Chrysler products remembered for their sculpture, appearance, and jet age tail fins. Uh, he gave his life uh, to automotive design in the best way that he could with his great artistic ability as well as mechanical excellence and ability. If you've heard of NASCAR, you've heard of Richard Petty, the most successful American stock car driver in NASCAR's history. To be recognized with these guys that you're recognizing tonight and to go in the first deal with the legacy deal is a pleasure uh, that is, is just completely different. Never thought about it, uh, you know, but uh, they call you up and say, you know, we've got something new going, we'd like you to be involved. And uh, of all the people that Chrysler worked with, all the drivers, all the crews and stuff, and to be kind of chosen out of that crowd is a great, great honor. Of critical importance is the fact that Mr. Leno is a very vocal supporter of the Detroit-based auto industry. And who can forget his endearing generosity of performing free shows last year for those people who were out of work and desperately in need of a morale boost. A great historian. I really love this city. When I come here, there's, there's so many artifacts. There's so much. I am so happy for this museum that is something new and exciting in Detroit. You know, in the 20s, this was one of the greatest cities in America, and I think it can be again. And when you have museums and when you have places people can go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's true. There is. There is so much history here, so many amazing engineers, so many people that invented things, that came up with things. I mean, I talk to kids and they think cars were invented in Japan, you know? And you come here and you go, no, it started here. You know, Walter Chrysler was an engineer and that's really what, what built this city, engineers. And I think they will continue to build it again. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is truly a privilege for me to introduce tonight's final recipient of the Walter P. Chrysler Legacy Award. Today happens to be the anniversary of the founding of Detroit in 1701. It is entirely appropriate that we honor the Iacocca tonight, as there is such a deep bond that ties together Detroit, Chrysler, and this man who is one of the great leaders in the history of our company and of our city. Lee Iacocca's Chrysler took help once in the form of government loan guarantees and paid the loans back years early. I told him that the day that we pay the government back and that day will come, that I will take him to Washington so that he can hand over a check for the second time. And Lee Iacocca is one of the true giants in the automotive history. He steered Chrysler through crisis. He led the introduction of landmark vehicles like the K cars and the minivans and engineered the acquisition of Jeep. He was the driving force behind the creation of the superb Chrysler Tech Center. And for many years, he was the public face of the company, appearing in numerous TV commercials and writing a best-selling autobiography. And during his time at Chrysler, Lee was not afraid to break the mold. He and his team had the courage to be real leaders. And today, we know that we must replicate this attitude as well as the speed of execution. Under this man's leadership, Chrysler came roaring back in one of the most celebrated comebacks in the history of industry. And he gave us a philosophy that still inspires us today when he said, we just don't want to be the biggest, we want to be the best. And speaking for today's Chrysler, we still take, still take this advice to heart because we're determined to transform Chrysler into a company that is once more respected and esteemed and that makes a valuable contribution to society. Lee, welcome home. No one could be more deserving of this induction into the Walter P. Chrysler Legacy Circle. There are times in life when you feel totally inadequate to stand here and represent 
the organization in honoring a man of the size and stature of the Iacocca. And there are a couple of people in the audience tonight that I would ask to come up here and help me do this. One is Alan Malali, who is the chief executive of Ford. And the, and the other one is the newly elected president of the UAW. I think that uh, Bob King, where is Bob? I think we got Lee who was waiting in the wings here, who was waiting for us to give him the award. Come on up, Lee. I'm honored, I'm really honored. I see all familiar faces out here, people who spent the last 25 years trying to keep Chrysler afloat. I see in the front row here at Harold Spurlick and Jerry Greenwald. Those are the guys that kept this place together. Now we got Mr. Marcioni coming in. He's, he's gonna do what we tried to do. Not only keep it alive, but have it prosper. So it's a lot of nostalgia tonight and very touching that all of you people came out and uh, I think the big three is coming back, really. So, but again, for all you wonderful people out there, thanks for being out here. I'm greatly honored. And uh, I think we're in for a little bit of prosperity after a few, little rough time. And I'm depending on Syria Marcioni to bring over the Fiat label, put it together over here, and help give Chrysler a huge boost in the small car market for sure. So anyway, uh, let's count our blessings and uh, let's get together and make this work, okay?